Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SK beat. We're kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming to the channel. And um, yeah, we're going to be talking about Portia Williams and Candace Dillard doing a exposure of the brand new season of Sisters by Tyler Perry. And um, Portia had did some dumb ass shit. I'm telling you, she was acting dumb as hell. And I'm like, girl, it's no one can be, no one can be that dumb, okay? No one can be that dumb, but you're acting like you got rocks, rocks for brain cells. Oh, and that's what I want y'all to do. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So pay attention. Is it downloaded in your brain? Okay. It's a family affair. Okay. We need each other. I need you all. You need me. We need to laugh together sometimes. We're over here. We're going to try to break down this um, podcast, I guess, they were doing uh, for the new season of Sisters. Uh, not Sister. Yeah, it's Sister. It's Sisters, not Sister. Uh, and they were supposed to have been, you know, letting us know about uh, what's going to be happening in the show and this, that, and the third, and Tyler Perry people sent both Candace and uh, Portia the itinerary for them to get familiarized with it so they'll know what to talk about and, uh, you know, just good PR stuff. Uh, Candace did her job. She followed the assignment through and through, and she nailed it. Portia, she came to the party with not prepared at all, unprofessional as usual, and she wanted to have uh, Candace let her know what they need to talk about. Now, how dumb as hell as that is, and you get paid. Tyler Perry is paying you both, but it seems like he should have just paid one salary for this to Candace, because Portia did not need to be paid on anything. It was enough that they had probably called four or five people prior to getting the, to Portia's name to fill in for Teddy Mellencamp, Mellencamp because she couldn't do it. Uh, and Portia just happened to be there after probably them trying uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten people. And they couldn't get nobody to say yes or they couldn't get nobody at all to respond. But when they got to Portia, mm -hmm, she said, I'll go because she needed the money. Now, like I said, they're supposed to be on uh, a podcast at it was yesterday at 8 30 and they were going to be talking about the new season for sisters and of course Portia just fucked it all up just fucked it up there's no better way to say it than just that and she's gonna pretty much tell you she didn't come prepared they sent it to her she didn't have a printer uh this that and the third it's all excuses for this young lady nothing but excuses i mean i'm like kim does yet she told Cynthia Bailey to just sit there and look pretty. Don't open up your mouth. This is the same format Portia should be uh, uh, told to do because she has nothing value of value to say. It's like that little scene, that little clip I got there. She was trying to get Mama Gina straight, okay? I'm like, girl, if you don't move, she already sit down. If you don't fall out that chill, okay, and take a nap because it, the words we could use at you, it wouldn't make sense because it goes straight over your head. But yes, uh, then um, Portia tells Candace she would invite her, but she didn't want nobody to feel uncomfortable. I'm like, again, dumb as rocks. The only person that's supposed to be made to feel special are you and Father Time. The rest of them can kick rocks. The people that's in your wedding party, they know they better be on point because y'all have definitely rehearsed it with them and nothing but pure fabulous need to come from them, okay? But she worried about her guests not being comfortable enough so she can't uh, invite certain people. I'm like, again, dumb as rocks because I thought it was you and Father's time day, not your guests, 
Okay, not to get. But if you want to miss all kinds of fabulous uh, presents for your wedding, then go ahead. Because Candace was better than I would have been. If you would have said that shit to me, I was like, okay, that's good. But you missed out on a beautiful uh, bridal part, uh, bridal present I was going to give you, okay? But you don't need it. You got it like that. You and your million dollar husband. Okay, and that's why we love that shit. But Candace said it very classic. I don't even want to hear what you were gonna say. I just want to know where can I send my uh, bridal shower, uh, not shower, but uh, bridal present to you? Because yes, I'm gonna get you one. All right, I'm gonna get you one. Even though I was not invited, and you just pretty much said you didn't want nobody to be comfortable. And I know who your ass talking about. I know you're talking about. Monique. Is Monique going to get you in and everything? Is Monique supposed to get you in? Maybe on Real Housewife of Potomac? Tell us. We want to know, girl. Because it seems like you only stroking up Peacock's um, bushes. You ain't over at the Bravo bushes no more, okay? And they didn't even invite you to BravoCon. Because that's what Candy dug up in your skin and got you looking and feeling some kind of way. When she said, oh, yeah, we got to go to BravoCon. And Portia uh, was like, what? She said, oh, okay. Meaning she caught the hint that she ain't going nowhere. But Candy's no good goddamn way of Portia wasn't invited. That's right. Everybody running running on the choo-choo train, riding on the choo-choo train, running to get on the choo-choo train. But when it comes to Portia, they said, nope. No entrance. <laughs> no, you cannot come in. This party is not for you. This for the good people, the big people. We stomping hard over him. We show and prove. That's a note. You got to catch that next train. I guess it'll be here in about two or three hours. That's a peacock train. Or better yet, um, uh, what's that thing that they got? That guy, I always forget that show. Uh, Zeus Network. Wait for Zeus Network. They're running a little bit behind. They're not going to pay as much, but you can catch that choo-choo train. But the Bravo train has left, okay? They have left. They have departed, and they're on their way to making more money. Portia, you're not going to be there, baby, because you're a part of the Peacock fan. And that was just Andy Cohen throwing you a bone, because he knew you weren't going to get back on Real Housewives in Atlanta. I'm just saying. Even though people said you are going to be around here for uh, season 15, I said, nope, that ain't going to happen. If I had my own show, or if I was, you know, a part of that network, and I'm making decisions like that, I said, no, nope, she can't come back too much for liability. She she gets upset. We try to send her to anger management. Think she's gonna learn a thing or two? No, she did not. <laughs> and no, we will not. Okay, we, we we ain't gonna bring her in as a friend. Okay, but you can keep stroking her ego and keep telling her the lies that you're telling her. Go ahead, Andy. Go ahead, man. But let's get on into this interview where it's gonna be a little audio. Y'all gonna get to hear, and uh, we're gonna stop in different sections that I want to make a comment. Okay. That's what we get down, and that's how we get down over here. So, and I just included Giselle. I'm like, could she be talking about Giselle? Uh, don't want Candace there. Mm, could she be talking about Ashley Darby? No, she should not be talking about her. And, you know, I just put a little bit of pictures in to try to throw y'all off. But, uh-uh, Monique is going to be there. Monique doesn't like Candace. So, I don't know, like I said, I don't know how uh, Monique is stroking her and, and, and uh getting all up into her business to tell her who she can uh, invite to the wedding and who she can't. I mean, I didn't know Monique had that kind of power over you, Portia. I didn't think she had power. Hmm, my goodness, my goodness. Okay, let's listen to this audio. If I can get it. Okay. What's up, you guys? Ooh. So, Candace Dillard best. Y'all check out Layla Lynn. I got this Stop from him. her. Wait a minute! This re release of her album, D. I okay. have a filter outside. Here we go. How did you do that? You hit the little smiley face. I'm not my face. <laughs> I could... And you see, I'm but not my. What the hell is that? Mumbling. No, we need you to be enunciating. We need you to be pronunciating your words. Portia. Okay, that's what we need you to be doing. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, that's what she was saying. Uh, she was telling Candace uh, Dillard why she looks so pretty and stuff like that. She wants some of that. I'm like, Portia, you're the guru. You're the queen of using filters. Have you not seen you and Father Time expressing yourself through pictures? 
constant pictures, constant pictures of your day's journey each day, and talk time over there being poetic or trying to be poetic, like he know everything there is to know about anything. Like, girl, sit your ass down. But you, it looks like you have a filter on. You just have a hotel She light. do. She do, Candice. Sure. And then she gonna say, she showed her the Fenty cosmetic uh, makeup, I guess, to show, you know, she rocked with Rihanna. The best is for her and only the best, okay? Like, girl, sit your ass down. But anyway, moving back. Hi, girl. What is going on? Unprofessional. Unprofessional. And they're paying for shit. See what I'm saying? Unprofessional. She said up there, they sent her the itinerary of what they're going to be talking about so they can chop it up, meeting her and Candace, and see which one's going to talk about or bring up uh, in their conversation about the sisters. Uh, a new episode is coming out and wanting everybody to watch. But you see how she came unprepared and unprofessional. That's for sure. 20, 22, and 23. All right. And they show called Portia at the last moment because they couldn't get anybody else to take Kevin Mellencamp's uh, position or space when they were doing the ultimate girls trip to, to Thailand. And uh, I bet they called about four or five people that said, no, they were busy, they can't do it. Okay. Now, who told them to put her on this podcast that both women were supposed to be talking about? I have no idea. But again, <sighs> unprofessional hey, and unprepared. Oh, well, for sure. Yes, yes. So you been good? You been good? I'm good. I'm tired. Now you see how stupid she is. Kansas is going to get ready to tell her, yes, babe, I don't know what you're talking about. I will be performing here in Atlanta on the 24th. Again, Portia is unprepared and unprofessional. And she only cares about herself and the comments and goings around that. So, oh, just, uh, uh, ugh, just stupid as hell. month and year do you think we're talking about Portia? What month and year do you think we're talking about? Of course we're talking about October, dumbass. She shaded Portia right there because she said she talked to some people and they told her when the wedding's going to be as well as where it's going to be. And Portia just laughing. But she knew she didn't invite her. But people talk. People do talk. 
Oh, but she became this bigger than me because I was like, you ain't getting shit from me, okay? What you getting? Shit. All right. Why is that happening? Hold on. Wait a minute. You will not read me tonight, look, Candy. Okay. Listen, Listen, I have the way it's going to be fabulous. It's going to be Nigeria real mess. It's going to be black girl magic. So, it's, when is the way? Okay. Well, it's going to be Nigeria real mess. It's going to be Nigeria real mess. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay.
telescope they're doing for uh, Tyler Perry's um, sister's episode and bringing out the new season. And do you see how such a professional played that off? She didn't want to say what she wanted to say. But she said, babe, a good old gift from me, that's all I need. I don't need no explanation. Go ahead, girl. Candace, go ahead. Yeah. I just want everybody to tell me what you need. Love and that's good. Love, peace, and kindness. Everybody yeah. Everybody has comfortable and good vibes. Yeah. And you know, everybody is good. You know, there are so no hard feelings. I, I, I want to see it's your day, it's your moment. I remember when I got married, I got married on Mommy's Housewives. Mm-hmm. And it was a, and you've been married before, so you understand. It can be a lot of strife. And yeah. this is not, this is not that. This yeah. about you and your yeah. hand. And you see how nice Nancy she got Portia together. But Portia, time, she want everybody to be nice and just stand there and Candace just sold it up like it was in a, a suitcase and said, no, nah, baby, it's about you and uh, Father Time. That's all it's about. And that's all it should be about. Go ahead, Candace, girl. Go ahead. And that's the bottom line. Yes. Yeah. So, you know, it's not the registry. It's that's, my- that's all. Started out being about other people. Yes. Now, it is. It is. It is. Like, you know, it, it kind of did. It got, it got so big. Like, it was so yeah. big. No, it got too big where you couldn't pay for it. Look. Say it like it is. Say it like it is. Tell the truth and shame the devil. My last wedding. Bring it this, back. Definitely his last wedding. Come on, I will fly like, no, 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 no. We're going to reel it back in. So I hear really good it. I took him on the yeah. honor system with the family. So that's what we're going to do. Yeah. You know, trip the uh, native laundry. Okay. But, but yeah, so girl, let's make it fun. Let's get on this. Okay. Thing. See, now she's trying to talk about bad, about reality shows, but you were just trying to get back on one, which is the one that you were birthed on, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Now you're trying to throw a little negativity here, a little negativity there, thinking it's going to do something to the franchise. But it's not, Portia. They're going to sail away in the ocean, up on a cool breeze, and leave you back there dehydrated, dethroned, and disgusted. Okay? I'm just saying shows and I 
think tonight we should keep it with our friends from those shows just to make it interesting for the people who are watching. Yes. Because you know that's why they tuned in, girl. They ain't trying to hear about, you know, the off camera. They want to hear about the internet. Yes. Yes. Right, they want to hear about the ones. So how important to you is when it comes to loyalty, respect, and uh, inside of your friendships? Mm. You know what's funny? I just had a one. Um, as you know, my housewife, when a new girl comes into the group, she's generally introduced by someone who's already a part of the group. And for sometimes. example, I sometimes, yeah. So for example, I was no, Portia, all the time. You were supposed to be Fallon's friend. Yep, mm-hmm, sure was. So don't try to sweep it under the rug. We all know, we all know, boo-boo. You were backstabbing. Oh. The group by Ashley. I, oh! Yeah, I was You were in an alliance, baby. You were in an alliance. Remember Tanya? Mm-hmm. You do remember that, boo? And it was, was it Cynthia or y'all? Until they got to fighting. Mm-hmm. So, no, we're not. Then you try to get with Nene. Mm-hmm. You remember that? Against Kenya? What's your dumbass? Candle lie when you said you got it from Portia. I mean, from Phaedra. Was that the lie? That's a, just a little lie you talking about. That you knew the good dog gone well. That it was Phaedra, but Phaedra took the fall and you stayed because your ass should have been gone too. All right. Just because you think something is supposed to be, don't mean you go spread it around town. Okay. Ugh. Okay. 
And again, was she in alliance with Candy at one time too? Uh huh. Before, uh, what do you call it? Rape Gate came along. Black on the I know she ain't talking about Shamir, so Shamir going to be with whoever she wants to. That's a real woman right there. Sometimes she better stay on the winning side. Bye. 
some years since we have spoken. We have now in a place last year in a place where I can say, you know what, if I saw her or if, you know, we ended up in the same space due to mutual friends or what have you, I would I would say, you know, uh, she she's had a lot of life transitions. She got married, she uh, had a baby. So it's like them going through things that you know you imagine going through with them right is that oh oh you you ain't never lied because i know for a fact i know for a fact someone was saying by my side right now yeah. and i and i i don't know shady way just in a way like you know people when you see someone i don't care how much i don't like somebody pretty even on the show that i was on you know and the girl friends and some were close Okay, how much y'all like it? If I see you getting what you prayed for, yeah, I be like, you go ahead, you right. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I do, I do. Yeah. And, and honestly, and I, and sometimes I be thinking, dang, I wish we were still poor. I could celebrate right. with that. Yeah, but it's, yeah. it's not that you can't get. Yeah, you guys, it's the old world, and just you know, celebrate. Yeah, I'm just trying to give you one of these. Yeah. friends with that poor person Portia you're no longer friends with that person why would it even matter whether they uh let somebody in their house that y'all once knew and you confided in to her about why does it matter do you ever go back to Fallon and ask her certain things of course you would because you're foul Portia you're foul You're single, right? Yeah. And he's single. 
comments related to weight loss? I got no healing in people. I'll come in and it like this. Is that how you got signed the portion from Valley? Girl, tell us, tell us. Because if he wants this, he needs to make it plain before I give him even a preview of the product. Because I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to do. So, Portia, you trying to say Dennis paid your uh, bills while he was saying that, girl? Is that what you're saying? Did Dennis pay your bills while he was trying to habitat in your area from time to time? Girl, was he paying your bills? Is that what you miss? Well, since you're cohabitating with Father Time, is he paying your bills, baby? Is he paying your bills? I just want to know. Tell us, sister. Together. You're here temporarily. Like, this is my stuff. Like, I'm not like, giving you, like, you're going to pay some bills, be strictly while you are here. But, like, all of my bills, that's like, that's reserved for my man. I'm not, I don't want, like, this temporary person, this temporary gentleman, or if he's not a gentleman, trifling man, in my space. And, like, here, pay all my bills. I'm going to sit back because you're sleeping in my house and go pay all my bills. I don't know. I mean, I just think, I just, here's the thing. I don't agree with people living with people. I'm a good friend, yeah. but no matter how down, bad, and trite, you yeah. know, so that my friend. Did Portia say, did she say what I think she just said? She don't want to live. Let's hear that again. Yeah. I'd rather help you pay your rent somewhere. I'd rather give you a loan. Yes. I'm with you. I'm with you there.
love. That wasn't, that wasn't love. That was something else. But it's not love where That you was being now. foolish and stupid. That was first love. First love. First love. Yeah. First love. Yeah. First love. Yeah. First love. Yeah. 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 You be really crazy. I'm not going to look like this stuff. Yeah. Okay, wait. I gotta see how to pull this show up because we're gonna, we all, we are not hanging up. This is what we're gonna do. We're all gonna stay on the live and we're gonna. All right, you guys. So, can you support your art? Okay. That was a hot mess. I don't know if they really did a good job in explaining sisters because both of them are kind of going in and out talking about their personal stuff. And maybe that's what it really was supposed to be about. But they should have had somebody else other than Portia because Portia, I don't know what the hell she's talking about. And we wish her well in all her endeavors, but she's still dumb as rocks. I ain't got nothing else for this. And I hope to, hopefully you all loved it, liked it, or just been indifferent with it. Just hit, the, hit that like button if it was anything, any or all the content you was feeling. Okay, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you on the next one. Peace. Bye-bye.